Hello friends, this is Wendy and I am uh, a scrapbooker, a junk journaler, a paper crafter, you know, all the stuff. And I am working on the beginnings of a project. So this is one of those flip folds that I am fond of. Um, it is, I've already done the measurements in another uh, video, but this is just one and an eighth. And this is, and then I measure from this side, five and an eighth. And that leaves this piece here at not quite six. So a little less than six. So I am, as I mentioned, I'm working on a flip. So this photo, this page here is six inches this way and then this one is not quite six and this is might as well measure i'm this is right about five so okay so i am going to i'm going to do a project where the photo here which is gonna be the first photo. This is the this is the very first page in this signature. I am working on um, a Walt Disney World vacation. There's gonna be probably three, if not four books. Full full books that are you know big like like this wide and have at least four signatures in them. I'm going to have an Epcot book, a Hollywood Studios book. Both of those I've started. This is kind of a miscellaneous one, and this signature will probably end up in the back of one of the books because this is sort of, as I mentioned, miscellaneous photos. This is going shopping at Disney Springs. So this first page is going to have... So, this, so I'm going to have this. I thought this was cool. Yeah, we were there in 2018. Um, the year to be here. Oh, wow. Cool, huh? So we have these photos. So then here and here. And there'll be more pages. So it really stops right here. This needs to be glued down which I'm gonna do in a minute, because I want to outline everything with white um, distress paint. So then these photos will go, and I'm not even sure which one's gonna go where, whether it goes here or whether I put this here, here and here, I don't know. I have not, I haven't decided the where. Right now, I just need to paint the edges. You know how I ink the edges. Well, I want to use this Distress Paint on a sponge. I had it sitting around here somewhere. <laughs> Here's another part, another thought. Part of me is thinking maybe I'll put a scallop here and put this photo on white and I might even fussy cut me out. This is me. Fussy cut me out. I need to get my hair cut. My hair is like way down here right now and I don't like it. And I just might do that. Because I feel like this gets lost a little bit, right? And I want to pick up the purples though. You know, I could fussy cut it out and if I hate it, I can just get another one, you know, make, print up another one. So I think I might do that. So I think I might put this with white and these with black. So these two will be black. This will have a scallop. I'm thinking maybe put this paper right here on the edge with the scallop or something purple. Oh, okay, lots and lots and lots of thoughts. Okay, so I made a decision. I decided I like the way this looks like that. So I'm going to, so I punched 
I just use a border punch, one of those Eat Cake Success ones that I probably bought 20 years ago. And I'm going to fit this on here. And I'm gonna glue that down. I gotta say, I really like this a lot. Uh, this is gonna be where the stitch is. So this is a back page. And before I add any photos to this, I'm gonna do my inking. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, and I just, here it is. <laughs> I just found this. So this one is just for the regular um, picket fence. I like picket fence, the paint. The, this dress paint. I think it does a great job. So, so I've taken off the one that's just for the ink. And now I've got a new sponge on for the paint. And I just want to mention, I've mentioned this many times. This stuff is like cement. It's great. I love it. Get it on Amazon. Just called Redline Tape. So, put a little bit of paint there. So also before I put any photos down, I want to ink this with some purples.
So I also went ahead and finished this. This was a piece of of scraps from, I believe it was close to my heart, but boy, I probably have had that for 15 years or more. So um, this punch was an EK success punch. Um, the Let's see, one spider, which is this little one here, came from here. And nope, it's the bigger one here. This guy keeps getting in the way. This spider is the spider here and the same spider there. Uh, the ear is from here. The resistible is from here. The hat-tastic is here. So then I used um, this snowflake and I think this one or this one anyway, something like that. I also used I'm dropping things now. This snowflake. What I wanted was for it to look like a um, a spider web snowflake, right? So I added some snowflakes on the front and then also on the back, and then the spider web there. The spider web is is Tim Holtz also, and it's just called spider web. Um, and these are from here, and this is from. Okay, so this is modern floristry. And I did that there. And that was everything. I really like how this turned out. I wanted to pull this color here. And then, of course, the purples. And then he has purple over here, too, because we're basically standing in the same place. So, anyway, if you enjoyed this, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit the notification bell and subscribe if you haven't already. And have a wonderful day. Bye.